Bill never wrote any of his lyrics. Willie D wrote the majority of them. Scarface wrote some of them. So he didn't have like publishing and masters and stuff like that. He just relied on record sales or the shows that he would do. And this just says a lot about ownership of music. Because I don't know. I'm not going to say this with 100% of surety, but based on what I know, if Willie D or Scarface had to come up with half a million dollars to save their life, I think that either one of them could, could have done it. Well, again, you know, you talk about ownership, but if he didn't write any of his stuff, what's he going to own? That's my point. He didn't own anything because he did not fully create that music. Right, but not everybody is blessed enough to be a writer. Like, first of all, in the R&B world, it's rare when somebody writes their own song. They stay singing the song. The ownership is their, is their performance. That's what they own. Right. The mechanical royalties of something. The fact that they did the performance and it's their voice on the record. That's the only thing they really own. And there's, you know, there's royalties for that, but it's not as big as the mechanicals combined with the writers. And You see what I'm saying? That's when yep. you're really cooking with gas, you know what I mean? So now if you someone, you know, like, like myself, you know, when you produce a record, you automatically get 50% of the song off top. You know what I mean? Right. Then there's another 50 for the writers to split. So now if you produce the song and you wrote lyrics on the motherfucker too, you know what I mean? That's what's giving you a bigger um, lion's share of a particular song. You see what I'm saying? Down yep. the road. Yep. And that's a good thing. Yeah, man. Well, stack your money up. So if you ever do but, have but, a, but what a medical was he gonna situation. Do? That's what I'm saying. Like, we talk ownership, but he 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 probably couldn't write rhymes like that. So, so what was he going to do? You see what I'm saying? What, what yep. was he going to own? Yeah, well, I mean, he could have at one point said, okay, I'm going to focus on my craft and figure out how to write these rhymes because I already have a platform to perform them. Let me let me really just take it seriously. Let me stop drinking. Because mm. <laughs> here's the thing. I'm hearing Willie D tell me these stories about he rarely saw Bill sober. How much of a problem did Bill have with drugs and alcohol? It was a problem throughout his life. And here you are telling me these stories of Bill coming into your room with a bottle. It's consistent. He was intoxicated most of the time. How productive are you going to be when you're stone drunk? And what's crazy, though, time? well, he was a smart motherfucker, though. He'd come yeah. in that room and be saying some intelligent shit, even though he was fucked up. That's what's so crazy about him. Like, I mean, really smart guy. Like, really smart. Um... Yeah, but yeah, see, you could tell he had his demons, you know what I mean? And that's what it really is, man. You don't know, you know, again, everything is lived up here. You see mm -hmm. what I'm saying? We, we think we live in a physical world, but if your shit ain't right in your mind, everything else doesn't matter, Like you know what I mean? Yeah, man, and you know, I, I, I 100 support 100% support Willie D stance. He said it on Vlad TV. What he said about Bill, he said it on Vlad TV while Bill was alive, and he said it after his death. He didn't try to repaint the picture and turn Bill into something he was not. I don't see nothing wrong with it. You know, there's just, you know, most people are going to feel, though, listen, when somebody dies, they don't just don't want to hear nothing negative. You understand what I'm saying? Like, like, Let's not talk bad about the dead and all of that. But, you know, I'm going to be honest. Like, if you want people to talk good about you after you're dead, you got to do good deeds while you're alive. You got to do shit that, that makes people... And, like, your good deeds got to outweigh your bad deeds. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, like... Because it could be like, yo, every time I seen him, you know, he always had a smile instead of like, he always had a bottle or, you know, he always had a, like a good work, you know? 
It could yep. be you could be known for that. You see mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So it's it's really your choice. It's all of our choice, and we can't get mad. You know what I mean? And I'm not saying this about Willie D. I'm just saying, I mean, about Bushwick Bill. I'm just saying about anybody when I say, you know, if you was an asshole or something in life, just because you died, that doesn't not make you an asshole. Like, you see what I'm saying? Right. Like, and, that's, and if people saw you that way in life, you know, they're probably going to see you in death, that way in death, except for the people closest to you who now want to, um, you know, put roses on your memory. You understand what I'm saying? And make your memory smell better than it really smelled in real life.